Hey guys, welcome back to North Fork. Derek's here. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about a uh, heating system here in our house. Um, there's been some questions uh, on YouTube uh, about how we heat our house, uh, why we cut our wood so long, um, why I cut it so small. So, might be a couple different segments here. Um, one probably today I'm going to go over the heating system, uh, kind of the design of it, the thought that went into it, um, and uh, how we came up with it. And... Uh, maybe a second video about um, how we started up, how we turned the wood boiler, um, maybe even one on cleaning it a little bit. So there might be a couple different segments here, a couple different videos uh, about our heating system. Like I said, there has been a lot of questions about it. So um, give you a little bit of background. We bought our property here up in the North Fork uh, about 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago. And um, even before we bought our property, we were planning on building a home. Um, so um, ever since uh, the time that we got married, we've been talking about what our home would look like and, and the design of that. Um, it's changed probably a thousand times um, since that time. If we go back and look at some of the original designs, it was probably we would probably hate it now. Uh, but we, you know, we went anywhere from three bedrooms to four bedrooms to um, to uh, uh, the kitchen in the back to a kitchen in the front, the garage on one end, a garage on the other. Uh, the, so we've changed things around a lot. There are some things that have stayed the same. Um, the, the uh, uh, ranch floor plan, um, uh, one story, uh, all the bedrooms on the same story, that, that stayed the same. Uh, we like the big wraparound porch. We like that uh, functionality of that, the look of that. We love being on our porch. Uh, and something else that has always stayed the same is I've always wanted to heat with wood. Um, the last house that we had, kind of our starter house, our first house together, uh, we heated with coal. And that worked all right, but I love cutting firewood. Um, Growing up 20 years ago, uh, I didn't love it so much um, when I had to do it, um, when you know, I had to get up Saturday morning and go out and cut firewood with my dad and stuff, but uh, looking back on it now, it wasn't so bad, and I, I do enjoy getting out in the woods and cutting firewood now, so I um, wanted wood as a, a main heat source in our home. Uh, again, growing up, we always heated with firewood. Uh, my dad, he had a wood stove that he had built uh, in the late 70s. Um, so it's been around uh, 40 years now. He still uses it to heat his home today, the home that we grew up in. Um, 2,500 square foot home, a big house. Um, while I liked heating with wood, there were a couple downsides to the, to the design of that house, uh, which we've changed in our house. And, and one of those is with a, with a, a wood stove, uh, it was at one end of the house, uh, the house that I grew up in. That room was always very warm. It was nice and cozy. It was a family room. The TV was there. Uh, but it was always very warm and as you move through the house and then upstairs uh, It got cooler and cooler. So the bedrooms are cool. I like that growing up um, My wife doesn't like that so much. She likes a nice even heat So when we we're looking at building and de or designing and building a house We wanted an, uh, a heating system that would be nice and even across the house uh, so what we um, what, what I came to and decided on was a radiant floor heating system where we heat the, the entire floor of the house. Um, it does have several zones in our house here. We have four zones, but it's a nice even heat. If I can set the heat at 72 degrees, uh, I can, I can, that, that room will stay 72 degrees. And with the floor being warm, your feet are warm and the heat as it moves up because the heat will rise as the heat moves up through the room, it will heat the entire room and everything is a nice, nice temperature. Whether it's 40 degrees outside or 20 below, that room is always going to be 72 degrees. Um, so again, there's several thermostats, but we can control those uh, individually. Um, honestly, our, our house will range from about 70 degrees in the bedroom to 73 in the kitchen or family room. Um, so we, we do have a little bit of a temperature difference there, but um, it is a, a nice even heat. So once we decided on a, a heating system, I had to figure out how to heat it with wood. Seen everybody use uh, outdoor wood boilers, big smoking units, um, and, and they seem to work all right but they burn a lot of firewood. Growing up, we burnt about four quarter wood a year, five quarter, depending on uh, how bad the winter was or what kind of wood um, that we were burning. Um, but that four to five quarter seems manageable to me. Uh, talk with people that are burning outdoor wood boilers. They're burning 12 to 14 quarter wood sometimes in a winter. It just isn't manageable to me. I don't like cutting firewood that much and it would get to be a chore. So I got my buddy here. He's gonna help us explain a little bit. Uh, so. I went looking to, to find a better way than, than an outdoor wood boiler. So I came across a gasification unit, um, a gasification wood boiler. 
where the wood is burnt and the smoke uh, that is released is burnt again. Um, it, it, the, the wood is gasified and then that, that smoke is burned. Um, so you get a more complete combustion. You get, you're, you're burning more of the BTUs out of the wood. Um, so looked around at a couple different units. There, there were several different units um, that I looked at. Um, settled on this unit. It's, it's uh, manufactured um, by a guy named Gary Schweitzer up in uh, New York state um it, just a small little weld shop but he's been building these units for i think he said like 30 or 35 years um he's perfected them he's changed them over time um read up on the internet about it hearth.com is a great resource if you're ever researching any kind of heating uh, whether it's fireplaces wood stoves burning inserts uh boilers anything like that um even oil natural gas uh things like that anytime any type of heating system it's a great resource. So I researched on there, found, found some guys that have been using uh, this, this boiler unit. Um, at the same time, my brother's kind of gone through the same process. We, we get together for dinner one night. We started talking about this. We both came up with the same idea how to heat our homes um, and, and came up with this, the, same, the same boiler system from, from Gary Schweitzer. Um, Schweitzer, Schweitzer's <coughs> custom wood burning. Um, so interesting how my brother and I each came to that. Um, but... It did some research on it, great unit, contacted him, got a bunch of information on it. Perfect fit for what we want to do. It's an inside wood boiler. It's got water storage. So um, this entire wood boiler system here that I'm going to show you is surrounded by a, a water jacket, a water tank of 1,000 gallons. Um, and so as, as, I, as I load the, the boiler up, burn it, it burns hot, it burns fast. The gasification, it's going to burn all that gas off. Uh, barely any smoke that comes out and um, heats up all of that water. So right now, i um, getting ready to burn this here tonight. The water's at about 110 degree water temperature. I'm gonna load it up, burn it, and do one burn for about three hours, and all the, the wood will burn up in that three hour time frame. The water temperature go from 110 degrees up to about 200 or 210 degrees. I can push it a little bit up to 220. Um, it's a pressurized unit, so being that that water's under pressure, it's not gonna boil. Um, and then we use the water in there to circulate through our floors to heat our house. Uh, in the winter time, in the dead of winter, if it's down at 5, 10 degrees outside, um, I only have to burn this once every other day. So every two days I'm starting a fire in here um, and, and burning this. So it's, it's a really ideal system. Again, one of the things that I didn't like about having a wood stove is, you, is you gotta, you've got to load it four or five times a day. Even with an outdoor wood boiler, guys are loading them twice a day and they're throwing wheelbarrow loads of wood in at a time. With this system here that we've got, um, I load it up once, I light it, and I walk away from it. It takes me about five minutes to get it loaded up and lit. Uh, it burns for three hours and it, and it shuts down when it's done and everything is done for the next two days. Um, one of the other nice features that I like about this, so right now we are in April, right at the end of the heating system. Actually, this system is not even on for our heat but I'm still gonna burn this. I use this for domestic hot water. So I run the incoming water through a domestic hot water coil in the tank, or in the, the water storage system, um, and then into my regular hot water tank. Uh, and so in the summertime, I go about seven or eight days in between burnings of this, just using domestic hot water. Um, so I'm burn to load it up and burn it takes uh, about a heaping wheelbarrow sized load of wood. If I fill a wheelbarrow full as load as I can get, um, then, then that's, that's one load that I, that I burn in here. Um, the little cart that you've seen in previous videos, God bless you, buddy. The little cart that you've seen in previous videos, uh, one level cart of that, um, is, is a, about one, one load of wood that I would burn in here. So all total, I burn about six quarter wood in the winter time, um, to heat our entire house, a 2000 square foot house. Uh, the basement stays about 65 degrees just from the radiant heat off of the boiler unit. And um, that's for our domestic hot water as well. Summertime, I burn about a quart and a half just for domestic hot water. Um, so all total, I have less than eight quart of wood uh, for the, the whole year. For that uh, heat and domestic hot water. So um, <coughs> as far as the heating system, I also wanted something that... Um, if anything ever happened, if I ever got sick, if I ever got injured, um, something would happen that, that I wouldn't be able to cut firewood, uh, I wanted some kind of backup system as well. So I worked with a, a local um, 
plumber, a local uh, HVAC contractor, and he uh, hooked up my boiler for me, as well as installed a propane on-demand boiler. Uh, it's a 150,000 BTUs boiler, um, but I can run that off of a propane tank. Automatically switches over when the temperature in the boiler gets too low. It'll switch over, off, run off of propane. Um, so it, it's seamless, automatic. We can go away for two weeks in the middle of winter. The house will still stay the same temperature, and, it, and it'll just like nothing ever changed. Um, so, again, we have propane backup, um, and, and that, works, that works really well. Uh, I don't use it very often because I like burning wood, um, and, and, and I like cutting firewood. So this is a great system for us. Um, as far as our domestic hot water, I have a propane um, hot water tank. So... Um, if the again, if the temperature in that tank gets too low, propane automatically kicks on, and it's seamless switch over um, from wood to propane. Um, so, it's uh, it works out really well for us. So, give you a little overview, a little walk around here of the of the wood boiler, um, kind of show you some details of it, and uh, then uh, that'll probably be the, the rest of it for this video. Again, we'll do a couple other videos on uh, starting it, lighting it, burning it, as well as um, do one on cleaning it. So. Um, let's check it out. 